What is up Evil Dead fans? I'm gonna go over the details of this Ash vs. Evil Dead chainsaw that I just finished up. And uh, just let everybody know, I'm not making them for sale right now. Uh, I didn't have one of my own collection, so I figured I had an old cobbled up body. I figured I'd make it work for what I needed to do and and uh, have something that I was lacking. It's kind of sucks when you do so many of one thing and you don't need to have one for yourself. So I'll go over these details. Uh, before I get started, I definitely want to give a big shout out to Rob from Book of the Dead because a uh, few parts on here are actually his, uh, the caps and also the grill here is his pieces. And I won't go over a couple things because it is directly towards his measurements or what he does and that's information that, in my opinion, since I didn't come up with those measurements, uh, it's not right to put out, but there is some other details I'll put out here for you. First and foremost, we will look at the caps. <clears throat> like I said, these are Rob caps, but the only thing I'm going to tell you and show you is if you're doing a Nash vs. Evil Dead, these are the ways you want these caps turned. Um, these were from the mold of the ones you use for Ash vs. Evil Dead. That's how I know they're the right ones and they match the uh, auction photos as well. The side handle, this is an original home light side handle. And what I do, if you don't know, is I chop it straight and I add milliput and sand it down to round it out. Um, I know some people just round out the handle, but the problem is with some handles, they have holes in them from the molding uh, when they're made, things like that. Uh, so I always cut it off straight, add the milliput, sand it down, and then retexture it with a, a, a spray paint texture and then paint it up to match. So you have that texture all the way through. And sometimes you, I've seen them to where, from the auction to where they're not textured up here, where it's rounded out. So either way is fine. I just prefer the texture and it just gives a nice finish. Uh, the side handle, this is a one inch uh, pull cord handle. Uh, one thing that I've had a struggle with, and I know a few other people have as well, is finding the proper wood. Uh, when it comes to the proper wood, what you want to do is the, you want a super dense wood, something that um, would be used as a flagpole because you want the ends to match. The more porous the wood on the ends when you round it out right here, and this isn't a super rounded out one. There are some that are super rounded out. Um, but what I'm saying is the more porous on the ends here, the darker it will be. Uh, and same thing with here, you want to, make a hole in the bottom that's smaller than the top. You want the actual uh, knot here to sit inside. And these are things I learned later. So if you have one of my early ones and I didn't do that, uh, there was a couple that didn't do that. That was a production thing. It's not inaccurate if it's not like that. So it's kind of up to you what you want to do, but this is the look I want to go for. Uh, this isn't specific to any specific chainsaw in Ash vs. Evil Dead. These are just different details that I wanted in my personal chainsaw. When it comes to the carriage bolts, these are um, metric carriage bolts. When it comes to the carriage bolts, the American size ones, the heads, there's ones that, one that's just a bit smaller than this, and then another size that's a little bit bigger than super big. If you're doing an Evil Dead 2, you definitely want the standard American size, the smaller ones that's just a little bit smaller than this, but you definitely go, want to go with the metric if you're doing Ash vs. Evil Dead. Now when it comes to this bolt here, you need a flat pan head bolt. You can find that usually at Ace Hardware. And um, if you're doing it in metric, you want it to be six millimeter. That's always gonna be six millimeter. Uh, in uh, American Standard, it can be any size as long as the head size is the right size. You get stuff all over it. When it comes to the rest of it, I went with the five millimeter look. I like the five millimeter look. Uh, when it comes to Ash vs. Evil Dead, the bolts kind of were staggered and changed here and there where it's five to six millimeter or even back here where the head was reversed to the back. Now, these are the right size for that five millimeter look, these flat pan head bolts. Now, if you live in America, you know it's almost impossible to find these in five millimeter. You can see them right there as well in the back. And all these are five here as well, and also on the front. Now here's a little thing to, a little tip for you guys. When you have a home light, 
you will find you will have a bunch of these. Now this is a screw, but the pan head's right. Now if you have the bolts of these heads, keep them and use them if you want that proper look. If you live in America, where everything's standard, there is a bolt that, or, that fits, but you're gonna have to do a little bit of adjustment. Um, let me sit it down and show you a little better. It has the right head, but it has this jagged edge right there. So what you do is you grab your five millimeter nut, stick it in a vise and you screw it in. You basically strip it down to fit. And when you put it on to whatever part you're putting on the chainsaw, you hack the rest off because you don't need the rest. Or you can hack it off before you put it on. It's kind of up to you. So that's what you do for that. Let's get a close look at the grit. I really like how it comes gritty. The process, I did make a video on this. Um, when it comes to the browning, like the rust look, that is really just a raw sienna and then black. And then the make the grit is just a ultra, or a, not an ultra glue, but just a, a, a gel glue, like a, like a Loctite gel super glue. And you just kind of dab it on and it adds that look. And then you add the paint and seal it. And it gives that nice, gritty look that we're on a lot of the Ash for Seable Dead chainsaws. And I'll show the front here. So yeah, that's that's what how you get that proper look. And also a matte clear was used to seal it up. Top handle wasn't a matte clear, I don't think. I don't remember. Um, I think, no, that was a satin for the wood up there. Uh, these bolts here, they're just normal Phillips heads. I would suggest if you want to go with a super accurate look, definitely try to find metric, but it's really not the easiest thing to find this in America. Um, this is a work, working pull cord, of course. Let's look over here at the muffler. This also has that gritty look here, and that is proper to Ash versus Evil Dead. So I have that around, I have the proper clamp. And these clamps are the ones that were used for Ash vs. Evil Dead from the same company. So there's that. When it comes to, well, let's go to this bolt right here. This bolt, you can actually use a regular body bolt. You don't have to use that same bolt here. This is just a look on one of the chainsaws I really like, so I wanted to keep that look. You can see the weathering here. There was a couple that had um, this yellowing kind of rust look for Ash vs. Evil Dead. I really want to use that look again. I really like it. Um, you can just do the black and silver. That is a proper look as well. I did put on the inside here padding around the wrist just because I wanted to. It's not an improper look. There was a couple that did have padding. And then let's go over here. Let's look at a close up of the paint. Because the paint always looks funky on camera in my opinion you can see I put some grit right there this isn't a real motor piece that is actually a piece that I have a I have a mold for and then I do a thin casting of it from an original home light you can see all the grit there's actually some hair in there and then on the inside it's all gritted up right there Let's look at the bottom here, get the bottom paint. Now when it comes to those two lower holes, that is something that was from uh, Rob from Evil Dead Chainsaws, or Rob from the Book of the Dead that he did for the, that he does with his bodies that was proper to the show. But if that's something you don't want to do, you don't have to do that. It's not done on every one of the chainsaws. I have some nice silver right here. over here and when it comes to this whole this is something you don't have to do when it uh, came to production they molded a lot of the bodies that Rob sent them and some of them there's one of them well I would see some of them one of them has a dent in there and one of them doesn't even have the hole so if you don't want to put that in you don't have to if you're doing Ash vs. Evil Dead but yeah, I really like how this came out. Let's go ahead and put the bar on. 
and see how that looks. And this was sealed with a matte clear and I didn't use it um, excessively just because I wanted a little bit of sheen in there, but it turned out real nice. Let's give it another little look. Okay, let's talk about the blade here. This is an Oregon 20 inch home light bar, of course made by Oregon. I know some people have had some problems with a 72 inch. This is a 70 inch length bar and chain. This is a 20 inch bar and chain. Um, I've had some problems with 72s. Some people have, some people haven't. There's been times I haven't where uh, somebody will hit, call me up and, or message me and say, hey, the chain's not fitting right. It's too loose. I'm like, did you get the 72? And they're like, yeah, it's like, you should go with the 70. It fits a lot better. I've had to cut links out, things like that with the 72. Sometimes I haven't. Um, but I, I prefer the 70 just because it is the same length, same style. Nothing's different. It's just two less links and actually fits the home lights a lot better. And it is 20 inches, you know, cutting. Uh, when it comes to the paint, I really didn't go with a specific or a very specific look. I just wanted something very kind of similar to season one. I didn't really get in depth with it. And this side is actually a little bit closer in the look of the season one. But what you do, and I think Rob did this or production did this, I forgot. Um, when it came to the real Oregon bars, what they did is is basically you strip it. <clears throat> of all that shitty coating that, that's on there and then you spray paint it black and sand it and go along with the grain of course and then you come up with your look and when it comes to this chain this wasn't the real chain that came with this bar that one went out the door oh my gosh uh, like a month ago um, but I found another one that fits and it's a lot less blue uh, versus the other ones which are super blued and if you know chains for chainsaws, a lot of them are either black or they're blue. So I really like it. Um, a lot of people ask me why I don't put my lightweight bars on my personal chainsaws. It's because I don't wear them all the time. And I think the real look with the barbs and everything looks great for display. And that's really what I do mostly with my chainsaws that I still have is put them on display. So I'm very happy with this. Let's go ahead and put it on and check it out. And actually, I'm gonna tell you what, these Oregon bars, these 70, uh, 70 inch or 70 link ones for the home lights, these Oregon bars versus the 72 are a lot lighter than the 72s. I don't know why, they just are. Okay, so let's take a look at it. Go ahead and pull that out. Fits well, it's nice and padded, of course. I was at uh, <laughs> Scarefest and this guy had one of the, uh, I'll show you what he had, because I have one. He turned one of these into an Evil Dead chainsaw of some sorts and had this really funky, like it was, it would look bad. It was a really bad, um, cardboard bar i mean it looked like i mean just that extra two seconds of detail would have got him a better look but yeah this is looking so good I mean, you just you can do anything with it you know whatever look and i decided to go with the tight pull string versus the hanging look which i like both um just because you know this body i had was cobbled up and I wasn't going to use it for anything, and I was like, you know what, I'll just use it for that. But let me show you the big difference. I mean, home lights are getting hard to find now, but you can see the muffler size on these little reds. And even their side handle <clears throat> is wrong. It's too, it's just about this much taller than it needs to be to match. But you can see the muffler down here, the size, the body, it's completely different. But if that's all you can get, that's all you can get. I mean, I just, my neighbor threw that one out and it has a really nice ED2 bar on it. So I am going to be making another ED2 chainsaw um, with the help of Chris Pollock and his parts. 
for my personal collection because I have a, a room in the house just been redone and it's going to have all my stuff in there, including this uh, is 82 dagger. And this is awesome. Um, Tom Sullivan, actually, I sent him a video of it and Tom, what did he say? Uh, incredible or just something. He said, great job as well. And he's the guy who originally did it for Evil Dead 2, Evil Dead 1. But yeah, I'm very happy with this chainsaw. This one has the horizontal handle in it. But yeah, I can see I could wear it on you at a convention having a real bar on. But, uh, you know, the lightweight bars are a lot lighter. But it feels good. I'm not hurting. My hand's not snagged up. It doesn't get cut. I always pat everything down that I do. There it is. This is one for my personal collection, like I said. I love it. It's uh, turned out great. So until next time, you guys stay groovy.